Hello, friends and family, um, lovers, uh, warriors, fighters, scholars. Um, this is SG Maniac here. I'm doing a, this video because my friend Dan said, Hey, um, I'm trying to get into making music. I want to use GarageBand. And I said, Well, Dan, that's just a fantastic idea. Um, I'd love to help out in any way that I can. And, and he gave me this idea. Um, so thank you, Dan. Um, this video is definitely supposed to be if you've never used GarageBand or really any DAW, any um, whatever DAW stands for, digital audio workstation um, before. So if you're used to making music online, this is probably pretty boring for you. Not online, on your computer, you know. But um, if you've never done it before and looking for somewhere to start, uh, we're just going to whip out a song really quick and I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, GarageBand is awesome. It's free. You do need a Mac for this. All I have is my Mac. You don't need any other equipment right now, just a Mac and preferably a set of headphones so that you can um, listen in and really get a good, always better to make music with headphones rather than using like your built-in audio speakers. So um, let's get started. You open up GarageBand and, um, oh shit, wait. Right, again, let's actually open up uh, GarageBand here um, just so you can, we're all on the same page here. Um, slow, slow, slow. Wow, this is a really pretty plant in the background. It doesn't even look really look real. Okay, so you're presented with this um, kind of first, um, and you, you may it may start off by downloading some sounds for you if you're running it for the first time. But then you're going to come to this menu. Um, if we don't have any existing projects, so we're just going to start an empty project. Here you go, your very first GarageBand song. Get freaking hyped up. Um, we're going to create an audio track, um, so you don't want to create a MIDI track. We're going to create an audio track. Um, the best way that I suggest people, when they ask me this, to get started in GarageBand is we want to start with these loops. We're not actually even going to worry about um, making like our own songs with our own chords or melodies yet. We're just going to go in there and, and honestly just mess around with the things that Apple gives us, um, which because they got a lot of fun stuff here. So the first thing that we can do is come up here in the top and let's change this uh, tempo. Why don't you change it to like 128? That's uh, that's kind of what I've been vibing with lately. It's like a house song tempo, you know, a lot of EDM dance music is 128. So let's, let's make a dance song. So you can come over here on the top right. Um, you see we got this little roller coaster loop-de-loop -loop thing. This are going to be the loops. Um, and you should see immediately you get this really long list of loops. And these are things that Apple gives you for free, um, right off the back. Uh, you can download all of these. You notice a lot of mine are grayed out. That's because I don't actually have them downloaded because my computer is about to run out of space because um, I'm really terrible at organizing files. But you can download all of them. And let's just scroll through, see what some of them sound like. It's pretty good. It's definitely a mood. This is like a maybe like a Western Matthew McConaughey's like in the back and he says something really witty um, or maybe like a scene in Breaking Bad, I don't know. This is more like Owen Wilson and uh, I, I don't know, but you can get the idea, you know, you can go through all of these. So let's go ahead and make a song. We want to make a dance song. Um, so I encourage you to use different sounds than what I'm using here. Um, make your own dance song, but I'm going to come up to instrument. I'm going to start off by going to all drums. What I want are drums, but I want drum beat. So like, oh, that's very, uh, like, late 2000s club. Yeah, this is like Euro trash. This is exactly what I'm looking for. So I really love this drum beat. I'm going to drag it into this audio f track over here. And then what I'm going to do, I want this to go on forever. I want this to be a never ending song. I'm going to press L and I'm going to freaking loop this baby. And you, you'll notice that this is my track here. So it immediately spans the whole length of my track all the way to the end over here, right? So the fr now we can go over to our track, click in this little box right here, and press space to play it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, so I'm going to press enter, return, to go back to the beginning of the track. And uh, now let's find, um, find something else to put in there. Um, Maybe an organ, some sort of... Oh, that's kind of not exactly what I had in mind. More like a house organ. So maybe a synth 
would be what we're looking for. Wow, that is obnoxious. But I do love things that are obnoxious. It's pretty Daft Punk. I, I, I could do Daft Punk right now. I'm going to do the same thing. And you'll actually notice, let me undo that real quick. See, um, one way that we could do this, and, and GarageBand just did that for me automatically, one way that I could do this is go over here and press this plus button, which means uh, it's going to help me create a new track. So I could create this audio track, right? Oh, my little loop guy just disappeared. But I could create that audio track manually, but one other thing I could do, let me undo that, is I could just drag this audio file. Notice GarageBand is just going to create that for me automatically. So I'm going to... Um, Go ahead and loop that again by pressing L. Let's hear it. Nice. Sounds terrible. All right, let's listen to what else we can add. Let's maybe add another layer. Okay, that's also terrible, so very fitting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add this one in the same way that I just did. So I'm going to add it in a little later. So, you know, we want our song to have a little bit of an arrangement. You know, we, want, we don't want to just hit everything at the right of the beginning, you know, we want to save a little bit of the punch for later in the song, so let's hear this. Let's hear it with this layer coming in a little later. Nice. Super smooth. Super fucking smooth. Very sexy. Oh my god. Are you guys watching this? I feel like I better like check my email. I think, uh, you know, any record label that's going to see this immediate record deal right there. You got to be careful because this is the type of thing that's going to get you to blow up instantly overnight success. So on top of that, um, I think it's good. Now what I'm really missing is some bass. So I'm going to go back over here. Notice we have three different categories for bass. Um, and you know, we could take time to explore all of these, but I'm going to go uh, straight for the synth bass. Let's hear what we got. Oh, I hate it. That's kind of very subtle. Oh yeah, that's really shitty. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm go I decided I want this layer to come in a little later. I'm just gonna drag it back. Uh, I want the bass to come in first. In fact, let's have the bass be the first thing in the song that comes in. Then this obnoxious thing can kind of fade in. Or, you know, come in at a later time. Let's hear this. Nice. And one thing I can do, let's say I really just want to, uh, you know, indulge in this masterpiece that I've created. What I can do is I can loop this part of the song. You see how this top bar, the measure bar, this little gray highlighted range, and when I mouse over it, it says cycle range. What I'm going to do is you can either click that and it turns yellow. That means you're looping. Or I can just press C. That's a nice little hotkey. You'll notice a lot of... Uh, Working in GarageBand is working with hotkeys. So let me play that now. I'm like, yeah, I just put these two things in there. I just put these two stock Apple loops in here, and I'm like, this is the fucking shit. All I have to do is press C, and I can listen to this for the rest of my life. Yeah. This is really getting me hyped up, guys. I can really feel my blood pressure boiling, so I'm gonna press C again, unloop it. Now we're moving on with the rest of the song. So we're like making this amazing song. Um, now just for kicks, let's add one more layer. Um, oh, you know, like the, the hallmark of any uh, mainstream EDM house beat is some re weird remix vocals, right? These are super whack. What the hell? That could be cool, I guess. So I'm going to put those in right there. And once again, you guessed it, I'm going to scoot these back because we, we want to like kind of distribute our layers. That's that's more of like a songwriting arrangement thing, not ne not necessarily something about GarageBand. But it's important to be able to uh, make good songs if you want to. I mean, it's not important. You do whatever you want. If you just want to have fun and make terrible music, that's totally fine. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm such a shithead. No, like, just have fun with it. But... Um, it's also fun to become a better producer and arranger. So let's hear this.
right, so I really like this. Now, there's going to be one more thing I'm going to do, and then I think this is like very finished and polished. I'm going to put this out uh, immediately on, on all platforms, Spotify. Um, but I think there's one more thing we can do to polish it off. This kind of weird little bath punk sim, I kind of I like it, but I want it to fade in. You know, I want this to be like a gradual fade in rather than like I want it to hit you in the face. So what I'm going to do, we're going to do something called automation. I'm going to press A, and this brings up the automation tool. So you'll notice I can click on this track, and now we have this little bar over here that says volume. Um, and we can change the volume like this, right? I can grab this slider. I can bring it all the way down. I don't want to you know, hear anything. About it. But I'm going to bring it back to zero. What I'm looking for is I want this... I want this volume to fade in slowly, right? I don't want it to just hit you with it like a big, uh, like a big sloppy booger, right? At measure nine, so I want it to fade in slowly. So what we can do here is I'm going to actually draw a automation curve, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a point here. All I'm doing is clicking on this volume line, and I'm going to drag this down to zero. Um, and I I like to do this. I like to just. It makes it look a little prettier. I like to have this all started at zero. But now, what's going to happen is this tells the volume slider, hey, like even as I mouse over it, look over here at the volume slider. It's going up automatically, right? So let's listen to that from the very beginning and hear our new booger death punk sim. It's going to be coming in up over a slowly fade up. That's exactly what I'm going for. I think I want the fade up to be like twice as long as this. Let's, we can grab this point and move it, you know, twice as far back. And I also don't want this thing to come in. I want this synthesizer to come in maybe once this booger synthesizer. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rename this booger synth. Once the booger synth has a, you know, kind of climax in volume. Let's hear this. Nice. Oh yeah. Very cool. Vocals, go! So watch the slider. I can, it's gonna follow this automation curve all the way up, right? Sick. Very cool. Good one. Nice. Nice. So that's like a song right there. Maybe. One last thing I'm going to do is go back up to loops. Let's see if they have any hi-hat sounds. Or no, I'll do a tambourine. Right? Could use a little extra kick of percussion there, a little extra flavor. They don't have any good tambourines, so let's use a shaker. I'm just going to put it right here, new track, loop it. So let's hear it with the shaker coming in right there. thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the shaker in the left ear. Um, so I'm going to go over to the shaker track on the side, and I'm going to grab this pan bar, put it on the left ear. And notice, let, let me just solo this so this is the only track playing. And notice what happens when I do this. You hear it going in your left ear. If you're wearing headphones, you'll hear that really well. So let's hear it with the left ear. Yeah, really the piece de resistance of this beautiful track. Um, so honestly, I love this track so much, uh, I think I'm done with it. Um, so what I'm going to do is, you can't see my mouse up here, but up at the top, um, I'm going to go to the very top, and I think uh, the best way, you have these, these different options for GarageBand. They're not ideal, um, but these are how you can export the song. Um, and what I think you should do is Song to Media Browser. And once, or I'm sorry, song to iTunes. So what you want to do is make sure you don't have any of these tracks, regions in here highlighted. Go back to the beginning of the song and click and go song to iTunes. Um, and you want to give it a name. So I'm going to call it Booger Mobile. Um, and it's going to be, of course, by SG Maniac. You know, this is going to go down as a great work in history in my portfolio. So we're going to share this. 
And, ooh, iTunes is popping up for me. Let's listen to Boogermobile. Oh, yes, I want that. Uh, ho, 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 and there you go. Uh, SG Maniac 2020. So just like that, um, you know, using these loops, we created our very own song. I hope this was helpful in some way. Um, I'm going to try and do a few more of these that get more in-depth, tell you how to actually create your own music, like using um, virtual instruments and maybe recording vocals, things like that. But hopefully this gives you something fun to mess around with. And, you know, I, I know I was making fun of all of these sounds, but I've actually used a lot of these loops in, um, you know, a lot of songs that I've made in the past. And some of them are actually really high quality, and you can make some really cool stuff with them. Um, so definitely not all of them are super goofy. Um, I Also, I just picked, like, the goofiest things and stacked them all up together. So definitely get creative with your combinations um, here. You might end up making something really cool with these loops. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I'd love to hear what you make if you want to, you know, find some way. I don't know. I'm not going to say tag me. That's kind of cliche. And, but, you know, I hope you make something cool. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.